I'm AJ Brown. I'm the writer director of uh, One Way Home. It's a neo noir thriller in the uh, tradition of neo noir. It's set in the West. Uh, it's about greed and isolation and uh, fatalism, how people's obsessions lead to their own demise, and how everyone's decisions that you make in life ultimately will play out in a predetermined way. In One Way Home, these three women discover all of this money in uh, the old man Monty's house. Two of them are criminals. One of them is a young girl who is an innocent, and they find out that Monty has all of this money in his house and decide to kill him and take the money. My name is J.D. Gonzalez. I'm the director of photography. We're looking at this film to be very dark, to have a very rustic look, and we're trying to represent each character uh, through lighting and through the shots that we're getting. My name is Art Westgate. The character is Monty. Um, I hope it's not typecast. <laughs> <laughs> Growing the beard, uh, drinking, drinking a scotch on set. Monty is, is a, uh, an old timer. His wife had died three years before, as you find out in the movie. So he's a sympathetic character. For Art, um, Monty, I just use like basic kind of uh, foundation color wheel to make him look a little bit paler, a little bit more sordid, and then red around his eyes to give it that slight alcohol use. For his hair, I just use a little bit of baby oil and um, some dirt dust. I'm Leanne Powers, and I am playing Elise. She's definitely a follower, not a leader. Uh, she has a simplicity about her. She gets herself in a lot of really bad situations, and one of those situations happens to be the one with Sue Ellen. She's also one of those people that she could hit you with a car or shoot you in the back and turn around and start playing dress up or make cookies and it really doesn't matter. I'm Sylvia Blado. I play Sue Ellen and Sue Ellen is a very mean person. Sylvia is an aggressive, longtime criminal. Uh, she's uh, aged by her her past uh, experiences and, and her life of crime and obstacles throughout her life are shown in her face and she's obviously very broken in. We see that through the lighting and that she's a very darkly lit character. For Sue Ellen, I used her kind of natural complexion and then just took it down and then used darker foundation to make her cheeks look really sullen. And then I used a charcoal dust and dabbed it all into her nails so that way her nails are dirty and I just made her hands, put it all over her hands so she looked like she had been working in the hood of a car. I'm Catherine Igduhai. I was born in Philadelphia, moved around a lot with my parents. My dad was in the Air Force and now I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Abby um, is my age, 19. She is a hostage of two crazy, probably escaped convicts <laughs> who are trying to ransom her off to her father. She's from Texas. I love film because I feel like it allows you to analyze pieces of life. I love acting because for the actor, you really get to analyze humans one person at a time and it's just really intimate and I think it can be really deep and a good learning experience if you let it be. Abby is a very angelic uh, young girl. This movie is about her becoming a tougher, more experienced young girl. She's almost like growing into her womanhood throughout this, in that she learns what the real life is actually about. It's been really, really, really wonderful and a real pleasure. You know, Art and Sylvie and, and Catherine are just wonderful people to work with. Their characters are so twisted too that um, I'll be excited to see it on, on screen. This has been a lot of fun to work with everyone that I've met so far. It's nice. It's a nice, tight group, and I think it'll be a really great shoot. If this film industry is going to succeed, especially with a cap in New Mexico now, it's got to be the small indie people that come up and, and make these small films, get them to film festivals, or, or get them wherever they can to get them sold. I think that's the future of the industry now. This is a script I am so glad to be a part of, and it's something I am willing to honor with you know, as much time and, and dedication that it needs, and it's it's something that I absolutely believe in. It's just, it's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> I'm really excited. <laughs> One Way Home really is a giant leap forward for me as a director. I was developing it for a year, and from a year ago to where it is now, it has become, I can honestly say, the best script that I've 
that I've written so far. It's a dream project for me. I can't wait to see it come to life. And I feel like we have the perfect cast and the perfect crew to do it and to make something that we will all be proud of.